Hello, and welcome to the 2025 Arizona Monsoon Outlook, presented to you by the National Weather Service offices serving Arizona. Now, before we dive into what we are forecasting for the 2025 monsoon season, let's review what happened last year. 2024 varied significantly in terms of monsoon precipitation. Many locations across northern Arizona and southeastern Arizona received near normal to above normal precipitation, whereas areas across south central Arizona, including Phoenix, had well below normal precipitation. With the widely varying rainfall from last year's monsoon season, you may be wondering what our drought conditions look like heading into the 2025 monsoon. Unfortunately, this past winter recorded well below normal precipitation across much of the state, leading to record dryness in many locations. Probably by no surprise, all of Arizona is under some level of drought with the Four Corners region being the only area landing in the abnormally dry category. There has not been considerable grass and brush growth after the widespread dry winter, but the lack of precipitation has led to very dry fuels across Arizona. With the extremely dry fuels currently noted across the state, dry lightning will be the main trigger for wildfire starts. Taking a look at what a typical monsoon season in Arizona looks like, we could see rainfall amounts ranging from around two inches in the lower deserts and up to around 16 inches in the higher mountain ranges. Overall, about 30 to 60% of the state's annual precipitation falls during the monsoon, which runs from mid-June through September. The lower desert areas, including Phoenix, see about 10 days of measurable rainfall during the monsoon, while the higher mountainous areas see more like 30 to 50 plus days of rainfall each season. Lightning is one of the biggest hazards during the monsoon. Did you know that Arizona sees over half a million lightning strikes each season? This lightning density map illustrates the highest concentration of thunderstorms over far southern Arizona into the mountains of central and eastern Arizona. Thunderstorms and rainfall are most likely in the early afternoon hours over the mountainous terrain and later in the afternoon and evening over the lower deserts. Now, let's dive into the monsoon outlook about precipitation. The Climate Prediction Center precipitation outlook for this monsoon favors a slight tilt towards above normal precipitation for nearly all of Arizona. Looking at this in a different way, these pie charts show the probability of monsoon rainfall being above normal in green, near normal in white, or below normal in tan. Knowing this, there is a 33 to 50% chance of above normal precipitation across Arizona, except for the Yuma area. For some extra background knowledge, the average monsoon season rainfall for Phoenix is 2.43 inches, whereas for Flagstaff, it's 7.63 inches. The defined monsoon season also runs from June 15th through September 30th. Now let's give additional meaning to the term above normal. For above normal, this is where we see atmospheric signals showing a tendency for above normal precipitation. Don't get too hung up on this though, because it's important to note that there are still odds around 30 to 35% for near normal precipitation and 25 to 30% for below normal precipitation. Let's talk about soil moisture and other factors involved in the seasonal forecasts. Current soil moisture values are well below normal for most of the Western United States. This often drives the location of high pressure aloft and can ultimately influence the overall monsoon pattern. On average, below normal soil moisture in the spring leans towards above normal monsoon precipitation. 
Some additional factors that are always good to take into consideration are longer term climate forecasting models and the El Nino Southern Oscillation that is anticipated to be in a neutral phase. All in all, we can certainly hope for an active monsoon season across Arizona, but time will tell. Now let's take a look at the monsoon outlook in regards to temperature. There is a more clear signal regarding the temperature outlook. Above normal temperatures are favored for all of Arizona during the July, August, and September timeframe. Regardless of how much rain falls this year, Arizona will see flooding, damaging winds, dust storms, hail, and lightning during the monsoon. Always check your local forecast before venturing out and have a reliable way to receive weather warnings. Learn more during our upcoming Monsoon Awareness Week that will take place June 8th through the 14th. Follow our National Weather Service offices on social media for the latest. Thank you so much for watching.